friends hope you guys are enjoying the videos updated in our channel if you like the videos please like comment and subscribe today we're going to talk about the best photo editing app in mobile which is nothing other than snapseed so first of all it's first of all this is an app which is already available in play store so go to play store type snap seed and this is the app so this is how the interface looks like so how, how i'm gonna upload the photos is just like uh, we don't have to actually tap on this application to select the photos from the various folders which we have in phone instead you can directly go to the photos and then update it back so this is one of the photos which, you, which i'm gonna show a demo on so i'm gonna click on share so there's an option called uh, snapseed so first of all uh, you will get an options like what looks what primary modification that you have to do for this uh, photo so we have portrait mode the portrait mode works only if there is only one face on this particular photo but here we have multiple faces so better you don't select this particular option so likewise we have uh, different options like pop which embraces the photo accentuate which adds more darkness or more pixels to the particular photo faded glow is nothing but uh, focusing our faces and giving a glow to a, each one's face morning is just like adding light to the photo so that is one of the primary aspects of this app let's go to the tools what we have lot of lot and lots of uh, options which is available for using this tool let's start with tune image so tune image how it's going to work is you have to slide upwards so that we can we can get the various options out here so for each option like uh, for each tools we have the upside toggle button or upside slider so that we can use it on the mobile and you can select which option or which tool you want to use it for each photo so let's start so let's start with tune image so we can see the picture is a little dull so we are going to increase the brightness so you can see that the brightness increases so we can we won't give much brightness to the photo we'll give it a random brightness of maybe the 55 to 60 okay so after that we'll add it with contrast so that means uh, it adds more clarity to the picture then saturation will give the other modes like yellowish or greenish modes to the picture ambience adds more ambience to the picture highlights shadows will if you are hiding back the shadows it will more darken the picture which gives you a glowing effect to the photo warmth it adds a temperature tint level and the temperature level of the photo so if you are going backwards it will add more kind of tint feeling and if you are adding the warmth mode of it then uh, it will give more kind of uh, temperature kind of feeling so warmth i'm keeping it as zero because we don't need much uh, difference to the pick so once after you make the changes click on save this effect will be saved then after that uh, we have different options like details so which we're going to give the structure structure we never used to work sharpening we can do little bit sharpening to the photo then after the save curving that is basically like if you want to increase the decrease the brightness increase the brightness that's how the curve works so make sure uh, always the picture have the middle line so that you don't have to make much changes to the picture white balance here the same thing again here which is segregated into temperature and tint as i explained in the this all stuff is already included in tune image which which you have brightness in as a one as an option contrast as a second option saturation as a third option so and warmth is the last option which you can manage it yourself to increase the tint feeling of the picture or the temperature feeling of the picture so cropping rotating and all those stuffs are already available in the tools which we have 
in our phone we don't have to install a separate tool for that so the next tool which i use is healing so healing how does it work so let's see how healing works so i'm gonna take an individual photo let me share it in snapseed okay let's go to the tools healing so you can see so many pimples on her face right so let's remove it so choose the healing one by one so this is how we're gonna remove the pimples look at the photo now so this is how it works and healing which is used by most of the people the healing option which is basically available in the tools like photoshop and all those uh, adobe products so this is one of the best advantage of this particular application so use it so the another options there are other options like portrait lens blur so lens blur we can actually apply like if you want to blur some surfaces like you are you if you want to focus it works like a portrait option so you are most focusing if you want if you are if you're going to focus on the eye option so move this to the eye and uh, reduce the circle then you can check the blur strength so you're going to blur the whole area and you're going you are basically focusing on the eyes click ok so you can see that the eyes are the whole portion around the eyes are blurred so likewise you can give more focus to the face of a person or to a particular object by using this lens blur option vignette and or double exposure are basically available in almost all the photo editing apps so this is how the tool looks like so most of the people use this tool as an option for editing the photos in the mobile so i guess you like this video if you have any queries on this particular app please comment and if you like this video please like and uh, subscribe the channel hope you guys enjoyed have a great day